Hey guys, now when you're performing your seated rows, you might be using a handle like this or like the V handle. Now when we think about what we've just talked about with overall back training, we are essentially wanting to line up, again, that humerus down towards the hip if we're looking to activate the lat fibers. Now if we think about where we'd be starting on a pull down, we're already starting with a little bit of internal rotation from the shoulder and also the first muscle groups that are going to be working on a seated row are primarily going to be our biceps and also our forearm flexors. So as we're driving the elbow back, we might get a little bit of mid to lower lats here and we might in this position get a little bit more of rear delts teres minor. So when you think about a seated row, one of these handles really isn't going to be perfect for activating those mid to lower lat uh, muscle fibers. But what this can be used for is a, a vertical pull down. So just like we went through with the prime handles, if you don't have access to those prime handles, you can swap it out for a V pull down or a mag pull down. So again, if we think about the line of pull when I go ahead and perform the exercise, we're still able to drive the elbow straight down. If we're able to drive the elbows straight down, we're matching up that line of pull to where the lat fibers vertically are gonna become more shortened. So, and when we say more shortened, essentially we're trying to achieve a contraction that we can then induce hypertrophy from, we can induce a metabolic stimulus from, all the stuff we're trying to achieve with this program. So we're gonna lock in, you're not gonna lock your scapula back, and again, you're gonna allow the scapula to move in a fluid movement as you're driving your elbows down towards your hip. And again, as with all lat movements, we're not looking to lean back. The more you're gonna lean back on an exercise, the more you're gonna take tension off your lat fibers and more so into your upper back musculature.